This demolition project has been ongoing. We've been working on taking down the trees. We've been working on taking out the fences, clearing bushes along the perimeter of the property. Um, getting the trees out has been quite the project, just getting these massive trees on the ground. There's so many power lines around the property, busy, busy roads, trains. Um, it's unbelievable. There's so many trains in North Idaho. And they are noisy. I can just imagine the guy in the train just... If people weren't awake this morning, they are now. So we've got the trees down. Um, we've also been waiting on some permitting. We did asbestos testing. No asbestos in this house, as old as it is. Um, it was before asbestos. Doesn't look like it had any remodels that were recent that would have had any asbestos. So. They came, they took 21 samples, they sent those to the labs, got them tested, we came back negative, no asbestos. Um, the city here requires that you take that testing and you send that to the EPA and let them know and put that on file. Um, so that's taken some time to get that testing done and the lab results back and then put that paperwork together and get that sent off to the EPA. So with with the testing done and things sent to the EPA, we're just about ready to be able to tear down the buildings. It's been really interesting that, that having done this for years and years and years, there are always pirates that show up that, that want metal off the roof or wood out of the buildings or strip the, strip the copper out of the inside of the house. It just, it goes on and on and on. And from experience, we always put up a phone number so that people can call, so that there's never an excuse that you, they couldn't have called and asked. We, we typically try and make it available. I'd rather see this stuff get reused than end up in a landfill somewhere. Obviously, if I don't have to put it in a truck and take it to the dump and pay to dump it, that saves some money too. So there's kind of a win-win there, but, but coordinating that and asking first and doing it at the right time. For example, while we're waiting for testing and we don't have our permitting done, having people in here tearing stuff apart leads the city to believe that we're in here working before we have our permitting done. So holding people off, waiting until we actually get into the demolition, start tearing stuff apart. We ask people to, to hold off a little bit. Now, sometimes taking a little metal off or whatever, but it, it's funny when you let somebody on the site and there's this greed that seems to to happen. It's, wow, I, I was gonna take just a few boards, but while we're here, let's take everything or or i don't want to miss out on this opportunity so i better i better i better take all the metal and the lumber and and grab that fencing while i'm here and then they get a little possessive about it for example i've had people that i have caught on sites and said hey um you're trespassing and they would get defensive with me you don't need it. You're going to throw it away anywhere. Why does it matter? And, and I'm baffled by folks that feel like that, that because they perceive it to be trash to me, that it becomes okay for them to have it. When that's not really the issue. It's, it's the principle of, of, hey, it belongs to somebody else and, and maybe you can have it, but at least ask for it and wait until the time is right and then show up and pick it up. There's a right way to do it 
and I don't know why it is that I have to have arguments with adults about, hey, please don't steal, please don't take from other people, please ask permission. These seem like really simple things that we all learned in kindergarten that for some odd reason I have to give lessons in in being an adult, in, in being professional, that become really tiresome, really frustrating, and it's usually over stuff that doesn't matter, like an old tea post and some barn wood and metal off of a roof. Uh, I, I just can't understand people. Uh, it's baffling to me. So there's always surprises on, on jobs like this, especially when they're as as, as many eyeballs, as, as close as this is to town, as many people that drive by here. Was, there's, there's a lot of people that are watching what's going on here. So, that's been interesting to deal with. I think the trees are gonna take some time. Uh, we also got a burn permit. We'll be burning a lot of the slash trees, bushes, and the hope is that next week we're supposed to get some rain, things will be wetter, and we'll start, start a burn pile, burn a bunch of slash, and that'll help to clean this place up a bunch. So a lot more to come. We'll we'll keep you keep you posted on this project as it develops. You want something else, I agree, but that's where you belong. No point bending back, because for me, I'm just shifting along. There's no use holding on. If you love it, you set it free. Folks down.